I'm a psychoneuroimmunologist, which means I'm interested in how psychological factors can influence the immune system, uh, how those factors get under the skin to influence immunity, and what the implications of that immune changes are for susceptibility to disease. In the case of stress and colds, we've um, identified a biological process that's probably responsible and that it's an immune process and it has to do with the uh, production of uh, a molecule called cytokine and there's a particular type of cytokine called pro-inflammatory cytokine and these cytokines go to areas that uh, have been infected or otherwise damaged and they start the immune process. Pro-inflammatory cytokines, in doing their job, uh, also have, if you want, kind of side effects. They actually create the symptoms of a cold. What we found is that stress um, interferes with the regulation of pro-inflammatory cytokines. When people are under stress, they actually, they produce the pro-inflammatory cytokine. They're responding, their immune system is responding to the cold, but it isn't well regulated, and they produce too much of it. And while they eventually do get rid of the virus, in the meantime, they're experiencing much more severe symptomatology than, than people who are under low, lower levels of stress. Yes.